Hi, this is Professor Dan Kernler with another video in my Math 120 statistics series. Uh, in this one, we're going to talk about quantitative data again and some kind of additional displays that are less popular. We're going to talk about frequency polygons, um, cumulative frequency tables, um, ogives, and that's how you say that actually, yes, not ogives or whatever, it's a very odd word. Some time series graphs, and the, you'll notice there's an asterisk there by a couple of them. The frequency polygons and ogives are very rarely used, and so you're not going to be tested on those objectives. So let's talk about cumulative distribution. So we looked at this birth weight data from um, in the last video about low birth weight, and we had these the, the birth weights of children, and we made this table 0 to 999, 100 to 199, etc. Um, and we made a relative frequency column here. I've rounded a little bit differently than we did before uh, to get a little more precision there down to the thousandths place. So cumulative here just means to add up as you go. So cumulative relative frequency in the first class would just be the same. Up to 999, there is just the one, and a relative frequency is 0 0.005. So for the next cell, that will be cumulative up to 1,999, so you would need to add these two together to get that next value. And similarly, so the 2,999, you'd want to add all three of these, or take the previous one and add that here, and you can add the next one as you go, and the last one should round to one, and in fact, in this case, it does. Um, sometimes due to rounding and might be off, we've alluded to this before in previous videos. So that's cumulative relative frequency. Cumulative just means kind of total adding up as you go. I just have an example of a time series plot. We're not going to be making these in the course. There are a couple of homework questions about them and you might be asked something on a test maybe to identify one. But you, these should be very familiar to you where time is along the horizontal axis and then the value is on the vertical axis. In this case, just some data I had from Elgin, Illinois. Uh, so the next couple here, very rare. Uh, I do want to mention them though. So the frequency polygon. I've got a histogram here for a daily commute for the time, length of time. So this is continuous data um, because we have time. And if I put a dot uh, at the middle of each of those and connect all of those dots, that is a frequency polygon. In the middle there, <coughs> excuse me, um, the middle there would be right at the midpoint. So from 16 to 18, the midpoint would be 17. From 18 to 20, the midpoint would be 19. And then connecting those, that's an example of a frequency polygon. Um, I don't know that I've ever seen one of these in publication, but just wanted to, to expose you to it. Another one similar to that is an ogive, which is kind of similar to the, the last one, but now it's cumulative. And so in order to be cumulative, you'll notice it's at the right endpoint. And it's always going to end at 1 because it's cumulative. So below 31.9 is 100%. That's everyone. I think I've been talking too much today. <coughs> yeah, and I made a note on the bottom here. This one's rarely used than um, frequency polygons. But I just did want to mention it so you've been exposed to it. So a quick summary here. Cumulative distribution means adding up as we go. We have the time series plot, which people are very familiar with. Uh, frequency polygon and ogives are less common, um, and you're not going to be tested on those, but I wanted to at least expose you to them. So that's it. This is a pretty short video on this one. Don't forget, um, you can make comments below if you're interested. Now, if you have a question, um, I get emailed when those comments are there. I'm happy to reply. And you can check out the previous and next videos uh, up above me. There should be links to those if you're looking at it from, the, from your browser. So that's it. Thanks for watching.